Hey, it's Roger from the Heating Pro. Uh, just one of the things on your cylinder cupboard. Um, just need to be checking that the pressure gauge is at pressure. Um, generally, the engineer will set that red indicator needle of where your pressure needs to be. Anywhere be between one and one and a half is good. Um, from time to time, that pressure is going to go down. You just need to top it back up again. To do so, we need to be locating the filling loop. Now the filling loops are uh, flexible, flexible braided hose and as we can see we've got a black tap there and down here we've got a slot style um, valve. So we just need to open that slot style valve so it's pointing in line with the pipe and open the tap as well up to the left hand side there and we turn that to the left hand side open the slot up I haven't got a screwdriver with me so I'll just have to improvise with one of my keys off my key ring and turn that on we can hear the pressure start going in top the needle up to one and a half where that red needle is at the moment when we get up there turn it back off. Now that's best performed when the heating system's not on and the heating's cold. Uh, as you can see I've just switched that tap back off uh, but also just make sure you turn this tap back off. Again sorry I'm improvising I haven't got a, a screwdriver in the house with me I'm just going to use a key to, to turn that back. It just needs to go back so it's uh, facing across the valve to be turned off. That just saves us making sure that we don't leave one of the taps open. So you can see that's closed now, closed position across the pipe. It's open when it's in line with the valve. Um, that second tap to top that pressure back up to where we want to keep it. Just keep an eye on that. Uh, from time to time you'll need to top it up every three to six months maybe. Um, just keep your system pressurised where you want it to be. Thanks.